Mike, you said that uh, you liked having that feel, that, that film from uh, the other night. Uh, what have you seen from it to build on tomorrow? Well, I thought defensively, like I said the other night, we did pretty well offensively because they were sagging in that and we were forcing it and not reversing the ball and those type of things. So, you know, we saw exactly what we thought we saw during the game. And, uh, you know, it's just something that we got to get better at. We have been getting better at that. And then here recently, we're trying to force it in a little bit. Where, and it's just because our players are so unselfish. It's not because, you know, usually you have to get on them to throw it in and look at the post. And we had a lot of turnovers because they were being unselfish trying to get Asia the ball. But we just got to do a better job spreading it out. And, it, and we would have done a better job if we would hit some of them shots over top. I think we only made like two or three threes. And because of that, they can continue to sag. Uh, how important is it to get out to a fast start, not get down like the last game, I believe it was 15, you lost by that margin? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of film on them, and, and that's what they do. They jump on you real early, and they go up 10, 15, 20, and then they kind of coast. So it's going to be very important, and we're going to watch the first 10 minutes of uh, our game against them here uh, today just to show them what I'm talking about, how they get out and get going and uh, play with emotions. And at their place, you know, that's exactly what they're going to do. The crowd's going to be involved. and So they're going to try to jump. That first eight minutes is going to be very important that we're still in the game at that point. How did you Stop learn that? about we just got to come out. We got to be aggressive. Usually we come out, you know, we're not being as aggressive offensively, especially. And we got to come out and be aggressive and, and attack early. We just got to attack. They're going to attack us. We got to attack them early and, and get up and down the floor. And they're going to run the floor extremely well in the beginning. And so we, we've got to match their intensity and get up and down the floor, but yet still be aggressive offensively and, and, and try to get to the foul line early, try to get some steals early and that type of stuff. And, and we got to change up defensively. I'm not the smartest guy, but what we did last time really didn't work. So, uh, you know, but I, you know, I'm not going to get into that other than we're going to try some different things and see if that helps. But, you know, it's going to come down to our main defense is man to man. And we're going to, have to stop some people. That, that's eventually what's going to happen. How do you stop Odyssey Sims? I, again, I said it before, I don't think you stop her. I, I, you just can't let her have 48. <laughs> I mean, we can't do that again. But yet, we don't want uh, the Davis girl inside is, is averaging a lot of points now. She's playing a lot better right now and scoring a lot for them. So we can't let her go off either. So, you know, they, they're a good team. There's a reason why they're where they're at right now. and. Uh, we, we've got to contain Sims, but, you know, not to the point where we're ignoring everybody else and let them have career nights. What about the approach to this game? Obviously, it's going to be in March. Uh, you guys know what's at stake. Is it, is it just another game, or is it kind of a, a tournament game, in a sense? Well, I don't think, you know, normally I would say it's just another game, but our players are making, you know, because our players are excited and our players are looking forward to this game, uh, you know, I'm not going to be naive and tell the players you know, this is just another game. They know better. So, you know, we're going at it. We're going into this game to win this game. We're not going in here to make a good show or do anything like that. We're going in and try to win the basketball game. Along those lines, I know it's always been about the NCAA tournament and seeing, but the opportunity to win or at least a piece of the Big 12 championship is right there. You, you well, that's great. That. You don't know how many times you're ever going to be in this position. So when you are in this position, you, you know, you, you at least want to go for it. So we're, we're going to pull out all the stops. You know, we, 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 I said all along, I said the other night, if we can be in the game going in four last four minutes, then that, that's going to be really, really interesting because our girls played pretty well the last four minutes of a game. And they, we, we do a pretty good job executing the last four minutes. So that's where we want to get to. No matter what we do before that, if we can have it close going in the last four minutes, that's the position we want to be in. Speaking of that, you said the other day, uh, that you're going to tell them that you know you have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Yet I don't think you feel that way. That you have nothing. To no, lose. but we can't go in there and play scared. We can't. We we can't do that. But that my whole point is let's not play scared. Let's be aggressive. Even if we take some bad shots early. Even if we too aggressive. We we we've got to go in there and be in attack mode because we cannot let them jump on us like they did the last time. And and I and again I've watched several tapes where they just jump on you. 
uh, that first ten minutes of a game, and, and by that, and then they kind of coast through the rest because they're up fifteen. So we we want to keep the pressure on them, and, and and you know they're a great team, and it's going to be a tough place to play. But you know I think our girls will be focused. And when I say you know it's it's not just another game, just because of what you said, because of seeding. I mean, it, you know, the, every game we have left right now is all about seeding. And it just so happens we're in a position right now to, to contend for the Big 12 championship, and that's great. Isn't this even a little more than that, though, but considering, I mean, you've spent almost your whole career in the shadow of somebody as far as in the conference you're in and the likes. You've had, you've had some good teams, but there's always been Connecticut up there mm -hmm. or Notre Dame and, and Baylor. Now you're now you're in a you're in a position to, to to maybe step out of that shadow. Well, yeah, and that's what I said earlier that uh, you know how many other times you're going to be in this position. So that's why I said you got to go for it. You just got to you know don't don't leave anything out or regrets or whatever. You know, win or lose this game, you know we're going to go give it our best shot, and, and and that's all you can ask for. Hopefully, it's enough to win the game. If it's not, that's okay. I mean, we got a lot of the season left. And I just don't want to put it all on this game because, you know, you come right back in two days and play Kansas, which is a very important game that you have to win at home, and then you go to the Big 12 tournament. So, you know, all these games are important, and, and, and this game's right now is more important because it, it, it's dealing with the Big 12 championship. Coach, you look at uh, Crystal's game uh, against Baylor, I guess it goes without saying that she needs to play better offensively because she you know, was held scoreless. but. What did they do to limit her in that game? Nothing special. Nothing special. I've watched that game. Nothing special. She just wasn't scoring. You know, she. we've had games like that where not just her, other people haven't scored. We're going to need everybody on top of the game. I think Avery Fields got to step up and have a big game also. I th they all do. I mean, I, I don't want to put pressure on one or two of our players. I mean, we, we've got to have eight, nine people playing well. And if we can do that, then we'll be in good shape. But you know, we can't go in the game saying Crystal Caldwell needs to score or Asia Buss needs to have a big game or whatever because I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, who they're shading to, who they're doubling, who they're not doubling, who they're leaving wide open and that type of stuff. So, you know, it just depends as the game falls.